Guys, today we're gonna settle the score on low, iron, low handicap irons. So we did our mid handicap, yeah, this is what I do now. Mm. We did our, I'll cross my arms. We did our mid handicap review. Uh -huh. And uh, I think I did real nice today. I played real good. And uh, <laughs> Ricky Bobby. Um, the low handicap irons are my favorite category because that's what I'm trying to work myself into. Mm -hmm. And they're mm -hmm. the sexiest. Yeah. So everyone wants to play low handicap iron. A lot of us shouldn't. But if you're going to, we're gonna do some testing to see which one is the best. Which For one your are, game. Which one are we gonna Pros crown? Each one. Which one are we gonna crown the best low hand? Don't check your watch when Sorry. we're doing YouTube. I'll take video. it off. I'll take it off. Stop it. It's not professional. Which one is the best? Okay. Only one way to find out. Let's go. So just picking back on what you just said, everybody wants a player's iron. I myself want it, uh, you at home want it, you want it, they, they look the best, they're usually the most sleek, you see them the most on commercials. Um, it's just the hot play. So that's what we're gonna do today. See, okay, if you're creeping on that player's iron, which one's gonna fit your needs? Because Trevor's number one might not necessarily be your number one. It depends on what kind of player you are, what ball striker you are. Um, and I'm, but, a, I'm a player, I'm a 15 handicap, and I have a couple, I have a combo set, which I'll get yeah. into combo sets in a little bit. Yeah. I have a couple players irons. Yeah, we'll get into that. In the bag now. Yeah. You're already flirting with it. So, but you know I, the but best I, way to find out what fits you? Come in here and get fitted. Yeah. Come see us. Make an appointment, we got a link down below. Yeah. All right, let's start with, let's pull out a contender. So give me a, a contender that's gonna be in the match today. Uh, this bag's the closest to me. So grab, show, show the folks at home what it is. Well, it's in a Cobra bag, so. Oh my gosh, it is a Cobra bag. And there's some Strixons in here. Are you talking to Mizuno? I'm doing the Mizuno 222. Mizuno Pro 223 is one of the contestants. So that's contender number one. We got the Mizuno 223. Right here. another one. Give me another one. Out of this Strixon staff bag. Go ahead and explain what Papio I got there. Oh yeah, so this is the ZX7. So this is their fully forged. What do you Their think players of club. club. This player. is what Brooks Kepka plays. Yeah. That's the name I was thinking. Uh, of. Keegan Bradley plays this. Yeah. Bunch of guys on tour play this. Colin. More. Colin. Or, um, no, he Hideki. plays Taylor May. Hideki Matsuyama. Okay. How about I got a contender for you? Do it. This is kind of a wild card contender. How about um, the PXG cavity back? Ooh. A little dusty. PXG, I mean, that's a sexy looking club. Yeah, the all black murdered Who out. Who else we got in contention? Let me, let, you, got, you got the next one? Well, it's my bag. Okay, go ahead. I got the Cobra, Cobra King Cavity Backs. Um, so they make the Cavity, the, oh my goodness. The Cobra King Tour and the Cobra King Cavity Back. Um, I went the Cavity Back. How many more we got? Now this is a very popular contender and I think one of the sexiest clubs on the market today. Taylor made. What is it, the MC? P7 MC. There's a contender. Yep. I got another one. And man, these look good. Good looking club. T100s. I mean, yep. golf, golf purists are gonna wanna play this club. Yeah. Don't you think? Yep. We're missing one. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. We got a few more. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we also have, oh, right here. Yep. Right here. I knew you were going for that bad boy. Mira. The Mira, KM700s. Now, how good does this club look? Phenomenal. It's awesome. Yep, best forging process. I think we got one more, don't we? I think so. Where is it? Right here. Where is it? We ha can't, we'd be remiss if we didn't have the Ping I230s. I230s, so what does that? Give us eight irons? Two, four, six, eight. We got a lot of work to do. I love the grip. All right, that. we better get hitting, let's start. And I'm gonna kinda, as we go through this, I'm gonna have Tate start hitting, I'm gonna give you some feedback and, and some information on all these clubs. We'll go from there. So, I'm, I don't wanna get to the end, but we hit all these, we play around with all these in the store all the time. Constantly. Constantly. Um, the three Japanese brands we have, mm -hmm. that's gonna be Mizuno. Check. Strixon. Check. And Mura. Check. Now, before we even hit them, Actually, I'm gonna save it. 
Say I'm it. just saying those three, you're gonna wanna know what I have to say about them. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna start here with my personal club. It's the Cobra Cavity Back. So we're not gonna go crazy. We got eight clubs to hit. Between both of us, that'd be 16. And we have individual reviews on almost all these. Yes, and so we're not gonna go crazy in depth as far as like data and launch angles, dispersion, all that. They're gonna be all good. fairly simple. They're yeah. all gonna be good when you hit them. Yeah. But we, we, what, yeah. what we really wanna focus on is feel, yep. feedback, and uh, forgiveness. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna pay attention for some miss hits. Why is that important, that last one you said? Because I think even in a player's club, you're still looking for forgiveness as like one of your main goals. Absolutely. Because most players, 98% of them, are never gonna be hitting a pure blade. Why? Because they're not good enough. So right. a little bit of forgiveness goes a long way. And let's save the Japanese irons till the end. Okay. Because I have a little spiel about the Japanese irons. Okay. Okay. All right, here we go. This club's already in your bag, right? Yeah. Yeah, she'll be on. So you, you hit those fantastic. Yeah. But th those are in your bag. You know how to hit them. Yep. So what do you like about the cavity backs? So um, I never intended on putting this in the bag when I got fitted Let me for hit them. Some while you tell them this. Yeah. I never got intended to hit, put these in the bag when I got fitted for them. I got fitted, thought they were all right. They came in the box and I started messing around with them and the data was phenomenal. So my launch angle was great. My spin was fantastic um, and controllability. So I was oh, able to kind of do whatever I want. They're pretty soft. Them. And for that reason, they ended up in the bag, surprisingly. Yep, I drew it. Man, it feels good. Tate, I like this club. I know, I'm telling you, or you're telling me. <sighs> that mean, was my exact feeling. I was like, oh, let's hit him in the sim, see what it does. Man, man, I, I have a feeling a pre-biased thing where I wanted to rate this, but man, those are three golf shots right there. Yeah. Okay, how about the Ping I-230s? Okay, let's try the Ping I-230. Now this has a little bit of an insert in it, almost like yeah. the, the Cobra Tours. Yeah. All and right, all let's the see how have, Ping is know. compared to the Cobra. Let's see if one's a little softer than the other. Caught that thin. How'd it feel? Well, it was thin and it didn't feel great. But okay, so that I caught that thin. We want to pay attention to miss hits. That went 168 yards. yards. I mean, yeah. it's way, way right. But nothing wrong with that. That felt great. Yeah, that felt wonderful. Shot right there. And sometimes softness doesn't win everything. Look at that. Oh, Kate. hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Oh, oh. man! I two thirty is calling. It's call, It's calling. It's talking to daddy. It's talking to yeah, daddy. After you almost hold it from 180 yards. What do you think of it? Initial feedback? It wasn't as soft as I expected it to be. It was a little low on the face, a couple grooves low, but it's on the green. Oh no. It's another thin one, but look at that. That's two, two that are, that one's way thinner than the last one, but that's gonna be on the green too. PXG, oh, show them what it looks like on the camera first before you hit. So you can, the cool thing about the PXG, it has two unique things. One, we can get it black. Another thing, it's milled. And then the third is this weight is adjustable in your fitting. So as far as technology involved here, it's basically a cavity back with an adjustable weight. So it's a little more customizable than some of the other golf clubs are gonna be. It's three times forged club. I think the seven iron is 30, 30 degrees standard. Um, but Tate, would I be correct in saying what just happened is it probably has the, the, the hardest feel? It does, yeah. Unless you, it's more like, it's more on the blade spectrum. Yes. Where unless it's absolutely pure, you're gonna feel exactly where it was on the face, yeah. get a little rattled on your misses. Like that one was buttery soft. That one felt good? Yeah. Uh, we're also in these players clubs, you're looking for consistent. Oh, that sounded terrible. And it hurt. <laughs> okay. That felt, it definitely feels firmer Is than the last three we hit. Yeah, you had a good spin on it. Oh, pulled it. Okay, so now we have the P7MC. I would say that this is one of the most attractive clubs of the bunch. They use more, a lot more force yeah. in their forging process. Which so, stability, works out the imperfections, all that stuff. Yeah. The other piece of technology is if you look really closely here, it's uh -huh. uh, the best looking. 
So that's a good piece of technology. It's a huge piece of technology that TaylorMade always seems to find. The yeah. best looking club. Okay, Ooh, that, that was good. soft. How'd it feel? I didn't feel a ball at all. Could have been a practice swing. Uh, I like it. Oh, that does feel good, Tate. I tried to tell you, dude. That does feel great. That feels fantastic. And I caught it thin. Oh, oh that's it. My that's in the hole. Goodness. Look at that, that is launch, in the hole. Dude. Yeah, it's still on the green. So T100s, tell them the technology in here. There's a couple little pads yeah. in here, right? A couple of little pads that give you the extra forgiveness. On the left and which right. Which is why you have a little bit thicker here. Obviously forged up top. Nice Cavity softness. back style. Yeah. And I think... Thin top line. So far, this has been the most attractive. Out of the ones we've hit? I don't know. What this do you think at home? we're going to differ. I like the Titleist. And I like the TaylorMade. Oh, I caught that way thin. How Super feel? thin. Because you hit the TaylorMade thin once. It did not feel good. <laughs> so maybe it's not as forgiving. Well, that was a pretty bad miss hit. Well. I, I honestly, can I... We all have our predetermined bias. We all do in golf. I want to like this club more. Yeah. I don't know if I will though. See that one I struck pretty good, just pushed it a little bit. Ah, man, I don't know. That sounded great. Not quite as soft as the TaylorMade. That one was thin. Yeah, heel on the thin. Okay, so tell us why we saved the Japanese for last. Japanese so, brands. Not even specifically to these brands, but Japanese forging across the world of it, all product is superior than anywhere else. And I don't know why. The you only people that I ever that. hear argue that is they talk about German steel and that kind of stuff, but it's still not the forging process, it's the actual steel. Um, so naturally we want a forged club is the best club, you want the best forging process, and that's Japan, right? Something about it, they just hit different. So, no pun intended. They so what three brands different. do we have here? That so we have are, the Strixon ZX7. Yep. The Mizuno Pro 223, which by the way, here. oh sorry, the 223s, I saw the new 243s in person. And then the Mira KM700. Mira. Should we start with Strixie? You gonna start with Strixie? Sure. Yeah. Now Strixie's in my bag. Oh. So, but I combo set. So this is a seven iron ZX7. But Do you my, play the seven iron in the ZX7? No, I, in the seven iron, I play a ZX5. I see. So Sturdy. I have a four iron in the ZX4. Actually, combo set, there are three club heads. Four iron is ZX4. Five, six, and seven is ZX5. Eight, nine pitch gap is ZX7. My scoring it. irons are ZX7. And I think it's the perfect, if Keegan Bradley is combo setting, I have no business going straight ZX7. Sure. Do you, is that fair? I believe it, yeah. yeah. Engage. Man, you crushed that thing. <laughs> so far, it's the softest of the bunch. Really? Awesome. So far. That's that Japanese forging. So it's basically like a cavity back and they have a little bit of a mainframe right here. So see this mainframe? That helps with forgiveness. So I think it gives it one of the bigger sweet spots for a player's club. Oh, that's in the hole, Tate. But that is right on line. Yeah. There we go. Stick hard. Look at that. Does it feel softer to you? Yeah, that one did. Let's go two, two, three. So that's a straight grain forged yep. club. So again, Japanese forgery. And it's basically, I think they call them pellets. Yeah, it's like a tube. Billet, no billets. It's like the perfect like little tube. And then it's literally forged out of that straight grain forge. So I think it has less Im impurities or less imperfections in it. Oh, that's the soft. That is by far the softest I've hit so far today. And that is in the hole. Oh, deep again. Oh, Tate. Side spin. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, that's, that's more like it. That's what Papa wanted to see. And? So soft. Softer? Softer. So last but not least is gonna be the Mizuna or the Mura clubs. Now these are double the price. So my expectation out the gate. Double the performance? Not necessarily double the performance, but it should it should feel the best. It sh if it's double the price, it should be the best, right? Yeah, yep. So these are the one of the most expensive irons on tour right now. Now again, Japanese forge process, 
I think they're using a little bit higher quality material. So one of the things with Mira is if you're a guy that wants to buy a set of irons and have it last you 10 years instead of five, or if you're a guy that holds on to irons 10 years, this can prolong your buying process. So even though you're spending more money, the idea is, is they should last you even longer. Double the lifetime of a normal iron set. Yes. But now let's see how they perform. Oh, oh mama, that is soft. That felt, I mean, I pulled it, but it felt so good. You struck it well. That was thin toe. So thin. Let's see. That was super thin. Man. Softer. Uh, they're close, huh? Yeah, that, that one felt... Honestly, if you handed me that club and then this club and I flushed both of them, I don't know if I would be able to tell you blindfolded which one was which. Pretty good. So now it's time to start eliminating some clubs. Let's get it down to five. You hate to see any of them go. You okay with that? Is that the ping? Yeah. Tell me why you're eliminating it. It just doesn't check all the boxes for me. Yeah. It, the biggest re biggest feeling is I want fully, I don't like the, the inlay in there. Um, gives me rocket More balls. More Yeah, gives me some rocket balls. For forgiveness, it's huge. It's game changer to have that. Yeah, but it's still not the most forgiving club of the no. bunch. For having that technology, taking away some of my feel, it still didn't quite have what I wanted to have. Okay. For that reason, it's out. For that reason, you are the weakest link. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, we're down to seven left. Now, can I eliminate one to get us down to the top five? You may. And I, I'm just a huge fan of this brand, and I hate to see, you hate to see it. Are you a huge fan of this brand? Yeah, I am. But we have to say so long to our friend. Yeah. Okay, now we're down to huh? six. So we have one more to eliminate to get us to the top five. You know, after, the MC what? after today, after today, the S7 MC. Sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna take away the tech. Are titles. you? Yeah, I'm gonna do it because the, so does that. The top line looks better on the T100. I think everything looks better about the T100, but the the TaylorMade just it's felt softer. Better. Yeah, it's felt a better. softer feeling club. It just is. Yeah. And I don't think there's a huge difference in forgiveness for me to rate one or the other. Yeah. So now and I don't want to call other channels out or anything. But sometimes I feel like this as a brand is what wins it so much accountability. Now, this is a great club, it's a great brand. They have, they have some of, if not the best in every category, putter, wedges, irons, driver, woods. Yeah. Um, but for me, for us, for this category, it's just not top five, I don't think. No. Okay. Okay, so now we're down to top five. So the top five are the Cobra Cavity Back. We have the TaylorMade P7MC. We have the Strixon ZX7, the Mizuno Pro 223, and the Mura KM700. Yep. Three of those are really, the Japanese forging makes such a difference with irons. That's why you have guys playing just Mira irons, because they are better. They're not under contract, that's what they're playing. Mm -hmm. So that's huge. So I think we're both on the same page with number five. Yeah. TaylorMade? Yeah. TaylorMade, I think that the only reason I would go ta TaylorMade number five versus Cobra cavity back would be the TaylorMade is just, I think the Cobra is a touch softer. Yeah, and a little more forgiving, I think. A little more forgiving. Yep. But I think aesthetically the TaylorMade looks better. Oh yeah, definitely. So no, I wouldn't even argue that. TaylorMade is going to be number five for us. Yep. Segway into number four has got to be Cobra. Cobra. Yep. We knew ahead Either of Either the time. Cobra Tour or the cavity back. They're both going to be right there. Yeah. Now, this is what I was saving till the end. Do it. If you're shopping for players' irons, it if you're not considering one of these three At brands. At least one of these three need to be in your consideration. No, no. If you're considering anything but one of these three brands, you're shopping in the wrong department. Okay. Wow. I think, in my opinion, yeah. these there's all the players' irons here, and then the Japanese players' irons are here. Yeah. And it's not close, in my opinion. Yeah. They're significantly softer, they significantly perform better, and the sweet spots are bigger on all three yeah. of these.
Yes but, or no? No, I agree, for sure. If you go out and you hit these three and they were just not working for you and you go tailor-made, that's fine. You did it, you tried it, they just didn't work for you because they're not gonna work for everybody. But the vast majority of ball strikers will find a club that thrives in their bag out of one of these three. Okay, so which one's number three though? I don't know what he's gonna say and I'm gonna see if we're on the same page. I'd probably say, um, I'd probably say that the, go ahead. They're all so great. I would probably say either the Mira or the ZX-7. Would be three? Yeah. <sighs> you think a 223? 223's no, the softest. No, it's really hard, and this is what I was saying. When we, when we start to minimize technology, and it really just comes down to forging, mm -hmm. They become so similar. Especially in this forging. I'm gonna say Mura is number three. Yeah, I could go with that. Because it's the most expensive. Yeah. And there's not a lot of great options for combo setting. And there's not a great a lot of great options for fitters. So if you're in, you know, Georgia, I don't know what kind of fitters Mira has out there. They yeah. don't have a ton of places where you can go and get dialed in. It's limited. Yeah. But if you want if you're that guy that wants like the Ferrari of irons. There you go. You should buy a Mira. Next question. You should. Yep. So Mira is number two. Now it's down to two. Which one are you going with? I think number two would be ZX7. ZX7. Why the Pro, the Mizuno, or the ZX7? Um, feel? 100% feel. But the, the Mizuno is softer. The caveat to that is if you want that extra feel, response, the ZX7 is more responsive than the 223. You think it has better uh, feedback? Yeah, definitely. The Mizuno's softer though. But the Mizuno sweet spot's bigger. That's why I think. That's why there's less feedback because you can, this handles miss hits a lot better. If you're a pure ball striker, the ZX-7 is a better option. So here's what I would say. This would be, the Mizuno would be number one. Okay. If I'm doing straight, a straight iron set. Oh. Four through gap or four through pitch. I didn't even think about that. I would do, Mizuno 223. Because they're already kind of combo set the way they're engineered. Yep. I like that. If I'm combo setting, which is what I do, Srixon would be number one. I think out of all the brands, Srixon lends itself to a combo set better than any of the other brands. Yeah. Mizuno does, or uh, Mira doesn't really offer a combo set. Mizuno really, the 225 is a hollow body club and it doesn't really match the 223s yeah. as far as Top line aesthetically in your bag. But Let's just look at it here. So you know, all of those guys on YouTube real quick are gonna be like, oh, he's only saying that because that's what's in his bag. The guy's in a PXG shirt. Like yeah, we're, it's PXG. in the bag because, because of these tests that we've already done. So here's the ZX-5 and here's the ZX-7. Aesthetically, they blend really, really Super nice. Well. And, the, and if you watch our mid handicap review, the ZX-5 is our number one ranked iron yeah. for mid handicappers. So if you want the higher clubs of ZX-5, which isn't a full hollow body, it's like the sweet spot of golf clubs. And then look at those top lines. How similar do those top lines look on those clubs? Can you even tell them apart hardly? Yeah, the one in your right hand is the ZX-5. I know, but is it, it's pretty tight though. Oh yeah, it's very, very minimal. So Unless they're side by side. The Srixon is the best for combo setting, which is what I do. So I have a, I even go four iron, so here's a, let me find a four iron. But here. honestly, if Keegan Bradley does that, there's no reason anybody There's should no reason you shouldn't right be. So here's the ZX-4, just so you guys can see how well they blend. So the ZX-4 is the full hollow body. I mean, they aesthetically look almost the same, right? They already ripped it now. Yeah, just do it. A little bit of a fatty. But not but bad. A four iron, your driving iron is a three iron or a four iron anyway. So you can blend all three very, very easy. So just the face is forged, ZX-5 and ZX-7 are fully forged clubs. Yeah. So to get a fully forged forgiving club, so for me, if I'm doing just a pure iron set, I'm going Mizuno Pro 223. If I'm combo setting, I'm putting the ZX-7s in the bag. Yeah. No, and that's right where I'm at too now that you talked me into it. But you're playing cavity backs all the way through the bag, so you're not combo setting at all. No, I and don't have any combo you hit your four set. iron great. I hit my four iron really well. So. Yeah, I don't know that I'm gonna make any changes anytime soon. No. I mean, 
Shutter 74. So tell us how off base we are. Tell us what you think at yeah. home. But you know what? You guys have tested some brands just as much as we have, if not more. So let us know your thoughts. How would you yeah. rank these? We'll see you guys let next time. Thanks, Vet. Thanks for, yeah, thanks.